I think it's very important for the listeners and the viewers to realize that there really is no waste stream anymore. All we have is unoptimized income streams. Now carbon footprinting forms a very large part of that because if you manage your carbon footprint you can to a large extent also either optimize your waste or reduce your waste. Now what a fascinating and interesting world we are living in where waste management, carbon footprint, recycling, all of this gets tied up not because it's only the right thing to do because, but because it also makes money. But let's talk about some of the challenges from a carbon footprint point of view. So carbon footprinting normally deals with three scopes of pollution. Scope one will be the, the energy, the pollutants that you emit to atmosphere yourself. That can be petrol, diesel, refrigerants, and so on. Now, it's very important to manage that, but people normally manage their liquid fuel consumption very precisely because it's, it's a big expense. Now, second to that will be scope two emissions. Now, scope two emissions in the South African context for most people will be electricity, and that will be mostly ESCOM electricity. So we we all know that the price of electricity is going up. We all know that it needs to manage, be managed quite well. So there again, when you manage your operational expenditure being electricity, you're also reducing your carbon footprint. And putting carbon footprinting with a waste control, with electricity management, with operational expenditure management together, that's the sweet spot. That's where we need to be. If we then move to scope three emissions, scope three emissions will be, for lack of uh, difficult of, uh, or easy definition, let's just say everything else. That will be business travel, it will be car rental, a part of business travel, or flights, it will be paper consumption, and so on. And we know that we need to manage that. It doesn't say we shouldn't fly, use paper, use car rental, but how do you use it in a most efficient way? And we also see that car fleets are getting more and more efficient. I mean, you, do, you get new vehicles now, still internal combustion engines, which are more efficient. A four-seater car is more efficient than a 112 twice 125 cc scooter at this stage may a lot of these initiatives are driven from a bottom-up point of view consumers and clients demand this in a few years two to three to five years we've seen that a lot of the initiatives can be formalized in policy where one actually need to uh, do this from a top-down approach. It will be like a tax compliance. You need to be tax compliance. You uh, probably need a BE certificate to be part of a, a vendor or procurement system. We also see that in a few years time that will develop that sustainability criteria will be taken more and more into consideration from a top-down perspective.